Okay, this coming week is going to be the Jewish festival of Purim. And so I'm getting in the festive spirit by making some hamantashen cookies. And uh, Purim is uh, a festival that recounts a specific book in the Bible, the book of Esther. And in the book of Esther, it's about, well, Queen Esther, who is an Israelite, who's a Hebrew, but she hasn't really told anyone about this. And she's married to the Persian king because the Jewish people have been brought into exile and Jerusalem was destroyed and all this really bad stuff. Kind of like, kind of like what's happening in Ukraine right now in some ways. A lot of bad stuff. But anyway... The Jewish people were there in exile, and um, there was a particular official of the court named Haman, or sometimes called Haman. <laughs> who liked the power that he had, and he wanted everyone to bow down to him. And there was one particular righteous Jewish man named Mordecai who refused to bow down to him. <laughs> So uh, Haman got it in his mind that he was going to get the king to kill every single Jewish person. Uh, and it's Queen Esther who goes to the king and uh, pleads with him for her people. And all the Jewish people are saved. And so um, it's a real celebration of um, the triumph of goodness. And I think what's happening in Ukraine right now, um, this is an especially important festival uh, to remind us um, that uh, no, no group, no people should be erased off the face of the earth. And so in a special way, you know, I'm thinking of the Ukrainian people today. So I've just taken my dough out of the fridge. Now I made this uh, earlier today and it was really, really easy to make. This has no dairy in it, so it's, um, it's um, going to be interesting. There's two large eggs, two thirds cups of sugar, and I used maple sugar for this one because I bought this and I just wanted to try it. So it might give it an interesting taste. Quarter cup of canola oil, teaspoon of, it said orange zest, but I only had a lemon, so I used lemon zest. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then for your dry ingredients, it was two and one quarter cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I didn't have to add a couple of teaspoons of water. My dough turned out kind of just right. The water was there if you needed to add it. So I mixed those two ingredients together, and so now I'm just going to uh, roll this out on a clean surface. I've made some room on my limited counter space to do this. So come on with me, let's make some hamantashen cookies. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of flour and just put that out on a nice clean surface here so we can roll out our dough. Anyway, these are kind of pointy or triangular cookies. So um, we're gonna make these out. And uh, so I'm just gonna roll out. Okay, so I just rolled up my dough and I'm gonna take about three inch diameter glass and just cut out. Okay, I'm just very carefully scraping them off the counter here and just placing them on my baking sheet. Because I think it's gonna be easier to just do them up already on the sheet, so. Okay, next I've got some pure jelly. This is uh, Schmuckers, so we're gonna use a little bit of this. 
And you're just gonna put about a teaspoon or so right in the middle. Okay, and now comes the fun part of folding them. So so as you can see, they look like little triangles. So now we're just going to stick them into the stove 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes or so. Wow, these hamantaschen cookies are so good. Mm.